Hello and welcome to Indubitably Scrumptious. I'm your host Shane Bourgeois and today I will be cooking a nice pumpkin risotto for you to get ready for the fall holidays. Here's what we're going to be using today. One shallot, one and a half cups of borio rice, two and a half cups veggie stock, two tablespoons of butter, one pumpkin, and one cup grated parmesan. Okay, so before you start cutting your pumpkin, you're going to be preheating your oven to 400 degrees. For cutting the pumpkin, I'm going to use a kitchen towel so the pumpkin doesn't roll around while I'm trying to cut it. One tip that I can give you is if you don't want to go through all this hassle of cutting a pumpkin up, you can easily go to your local grocery store and get a can of pumpkin puree. It's a lot less effort. Once you shave your pumpkin, you're going to make a nice clean cut right through the middle. Apart. You can either discard your pumpkin seeds or save them like I'm doing here because roasted pumpkin seeds are great for snack time. have now our diced and cubed pumpkin. So with our diced pumpkin, we are gonna be putting them on a baking sheet with our preheated oven and uh, baking for 20 minutes while we are cooking our risotto. And once your oven hits 400 degrees Fahrenheit, you're gonna pop the pumpkin right in and set your timer for 20 minutes. All right, so now we're going to add two and a half cups of any stock. It could be vegetable stock broth or chicken stock or broth right into a pan in which we are going to be heating up while we start sweating our onions. Now with two tablespoons of butter, we are going to be coming over to our cubed pumpkins, putting that in and start simmering it on a medium heat. Now on medium high heat, we are going to be sweating one shallot. All that on there and we are just going to cook it until it starts turning glossy. The onions are now cooked. Not fully, but they do have a little bit color on them, if you can see that. We're gonna be using two cups of aborio rice, okay? Don't use regular white rice, it won't work. Aborio rice absorbs moisture, which that is gonna be the vegetable broth. So, in with the two cups. I'm gonna hear a little sizzle. We're just gonna incorporate the onions and rice. Let them get to know each other. As we see, the broth is starting to smoke, which 
pretty much means it's done. So we're going to grab a spoon or ladle and we're gonna start ladling in about a cup of vegetable broth at a time. All right, so we are going to add a cup of vegetable broth into the risotto. You're gonna hear a nice, beautiful sound of it sizzling. You might need to add a little more just so it, you know, you start to see a pool of it. And then you just start mixing. See, this is where risotto starts getting a little tedious. You're just gonna keep mixing it. You just gotta keep it moving. Let the rice absorb all of the goodness of the broth. And when you see a trail left from the risotto, you're gonna start adding more, more broth into it until you see the pool again. And then again, you're just gonna keep on mixing. Keep mixing and there will be music. And then once in a while, you're gonna wanna come over to your pumpkin puree, puree that's cooking and start mixing it around, incorporating. And if it, it, start get, it starts getting dry at the bottom, add some more butter, melt it, and get it a little mushy. All right, so when it's about 15, 20 minutes, you're gonna wanna take them out and check on them, maybe like, a, yeah, so they're starting to get really yellow, which is gonna bring out the flavor. We're going to have these tiny crispy bits of pumpkin that we're you're going to add to the final product. They're nice and they'll add a lot of flavor. Now our risotto is again looking good. We can drag our spatula across the bottom and it'll leave a trail. So we're gonna add the last bit of our broth to the risotto. You can put this on a uh, cool burner and then starts uh, stirring now once we're done stirring this and it's all absorbed We're going to be adding our Parmesan and our pumpkin puree, but we still have to wait for that to be done So we're gonna pour our mixture of our pumpkin chunks into the bowl. We're going to be pouring our pumpkin puree into our risotto on medium heat, stirring consistently. Okay. We're going to keep stirring this in now, incorporating it. Okay. Now we're going to add our roasted pumpkin into our completed risotto and mix that in well. Make sure the chunks are dispersed evenly. It will add a nice burst of flavor to bites. The Senior Capstone Project at Hoyo High School is a really cool project where students can take their learning from the past four years of high school and incorporate it into the things that they're interested in moving into in the future. So in the case of Shane, he's been a performing and media arts student since he was in 10th grade. Plus, he started doing theater with us in the theater company in ninth grade. So he's taking the performance aspect and his love for cooking and his desire to be a chef 
and putting it together in one project to make a cooking show for the community. So the Senior Capstone Project offers an opportunity for students to really dive into a topic or a subject that they're interested in related to their academy. Lots of opportunities, but it's a way to get kids engaged and fired up about their work and their academy and their school. I love how the students have their choice in these projects. They can get really creative. They can go as big as they want to with my support. And I'm always willing to kind of go the extra mile with them if they want to do something um, over the top. For example, we had Alicia Izquierdo direct her own play that she wrote last year for the Senior Capstone, which was really exciting for us to see that come to life. And it's really exciting to see Shane's cooking show right here on Holyoke Media. I like that it provides students something kind of different besides the regular class that they go to. It allows students some real opportunities to think about what are they passionate about, what do they want to explore in different ways, and kind of what project, what thing do they want to create at the end of it. It gives a lot of flexibility and independence and ownership for seniors in that year and kind of helps them think about, is this something that I want to continue in the future or like this was fun, but no thanks, I'm done. The Senior Capstone Project is a great way to show off what you've learned and where you're going with things. So students can take advantage of having this open format and decide what kind of project they want to explore and really dive deep into it. There's no limit to what they can do. So they should look forward to it because it is something that is kind of a culmination of their four years here at Boyle High School. They get to do pretty much um, whatever they want, explore the topic that they want to, find something they're passionate about. Um, and if you think about ninth grade year, kids feel it's a pretty strong um, academy experience for them in the ninth grade academy. 10th grade, they feel really connected. We're as a school working on 11th and 12th. If we can get more students to think about what that product needs to be and really engage in that cycle, it's gonna give kids something really to look forward to in a meaningful, memorable way and to really learn about what they're passionate about. It's really important. I think it shows off your learning. It's a nice way to kind of close out your four years at Holyoke High School, kind of show us where you're gonna go in the future. It really takes us to another level with your learning and it shows that us that you're ready for college or career. So me, I think it's really important because it's a unique and different opportunity. For me, I kind of equate it to um, students being better ready for um, like college and life beyond high school. The Senior Capstone Project is a really great way to get ready for college and career-based jobs because it helps students get really organized. They're self-driven in these projects while I am supporting the performing and media arts students that are doing a performance-based senior capstone, I'm not doing the project for them. They really need to make an outline for themselves, make a timeline of how they're gonna execute the project, get all the resources together for that project. So it's it really does help them to, to make a goal, stick to that goal and follow the timeline. And I think it gives you skills because it's really applying the skills that you learned. You're reading about things, you're writing about things, you're gonna be interviewing people, so you're listening and speaking. Um, you're gonna create some kind of product, so you're really kind of being collaborative um, in the process. And if you think about the work that we're doing with Howells, it's really about um, becoming a student where you are um, participating and you're being responsible and you're revising, reflecting in your work, and you have to really live up to those habits of work and learning if you're gonna be successful in that experience. This project's really gonna help students to get more organized, long-term goal setting, breaking things down into small manageable chunks so you can get things done working towards that bigger goal. You're gonna be invested, you're going to get really good results, and you're gonna have an experience that you are never going to forget. All right, let's dig in. Mmm, this pumpkin risotto is a delicious alternative side dish for your fall holiday gatherings. This inexpensive dish topped off with basil will have you and your guests saying, mmm, that's indubitably scrumptious. From the Rise Kitchen at Holyoke High School, I'm your host, Shane Bourgeois. Tune in next month for another episode of Indubitably Scrumptious.